Um, hello everyone. Um, welcome to I Learning Digital Class. Um, my name is TV, and this is going to be my first video and um, tutorial on this channel. So I really want to appreciate you for taking your time for checking out this video. So today I'll be starting the tutorial with us. It's going to be a series. I'll be starting the tutorial on how you can build an automated results processing system. So this is the idea. Um, a school, a secondary school approached me and they said they need uh, a web application that can help them to process the, uh, that can help them to process their student results. So and I they gave me the, the model in which um, there is the in which they really want their results to be. So I now um, developed a web application for it. So I feel like sharing the tutorial with us and I believe you have a lot of things to learn from this um, tutorial. So before we start, let me quickly show us um, what the system is all about, the automated result processing system. So um, let's go. So this is the... So I'm going to show us what the application is all about how it works and everything about it. So let me take us to the um, home page itself. Let me take us to the home page. This is the home page of the application. So I'm going to um, log in now with my login details. I'm going to log in with my login details. This is my login, email address, and password. I'll log in. See the loader. So, and I used um, Firebase as a database for this application. I use Firebase for it. So, now this is the dashboard, as you can see. This is the dashboard, and we have the dashboard. We have the current results. We have the register students, we have the add new admin, we have the lead um, student name button here, and also the logout. So let me really walk us through um, the, what the functions of all these buttons. Now this is the current results. This is where uh, the major functionality of this um, web application, the current results. As you can see on your screen now, so this is the name of the school, focused um, live international school. So this is the, they gave me the, a model in which they really want their results to be as you can see on your screen now this is the model of the results and these are the subjects this, these are all the subjects so and before okay let me really show us how it works let me really show us how it works so here is the name of the students here so let's let me input another name here so that we can see how it works um, let me use John Doe John Doe as the name of the students. So let's say uh, the term is first term. It's first term. So it's first term. So let's just assume um, the student class is GSS1. So let's assume the session is 2019. Let's say 2019 slash 2020. So as you can see, so the attendance we can leave that for now or let's just say um maybe out of maybe 195 of 200 that's the attendance that is the time he, uh, he appeared in school so just look at it now this is the um results as you can see this is the test one according to what they gave me and the instruction they gave me to build for them so this is the test one is over 10 the test two is over 10 the assignment is over 10 and the exam is over 70 the total is 100 that is the cumulative brush forward that is the cumulative for last time so it's gonna appear here too we have the cumulative score we have the class average grades position and remarks so let's just see now let's let's just assume that john doe in the first test maybe it's called seven uh let's say it's called six over ten so the second test let's assume it's called three and uh, the assignment let's assume it's called six and exam here, let's assume it's called 50. 
So just look at it. Once I press the enter button, this system is going to calculate the results. It's going to calculate the score for us. Just look at what's going to happen when I press the enter button. Just pay attention and see now. Once I press the enter button, you see what happens. Immediately, the cumulative score is 65. That's what happened is that this plus this plus this plus this give us 65. You can calculate it. You know it's accurate. So this is the cumulative score now. That is the altogether score for this subject. Now let's just assume that maybe last time the cumulative brought forward for last time. Let's assume the score 60. Once I press the enter, you see this thing is gonna change here. You see 63. See what happens there? It's changed. So we have the grade to uh, B automatically is gonna display this grade. So they gave me the scale. Okay, from um from 100 to 75 should be A, from 75 to and like that. That's how they gave me the scale. So A grades appear B and the remarks for B should be good. So it appears automatically. Okay, let me practice, let me do another one for us so that you can see. We have another one here to be six, we have another one here to be eight. And we have another one that let's say it's called uh, let's say it's called five. Let's say here again, let's assume it's called 70. Let's just assume like that. So let's press the enter button. You see what happens here? We have the uh, 89 April A1 plus, you see, because that's a scale. A1 and this place is excellent. Don't mind that uh, there's a missing T here just because of the space. We'll work on that later on. So we have the excellence here and we have the A plus here. Now let, let's assume I had another um, cumulative here. Let's say the last time cumulative brought forward is 70. Let's add it here. So and another thing, if you notice that um, there's another thing that display in red here. According to what they gave me, they said if a student score between one to um, between one and five, it should appear red. You see, and that was happening here. Now let, let me demonstrate something for us. Let's say it's called four year, it's called four year, it's called uh, another four year, and in the exam maybe it's called twenty. Let me press enter. Everything is gonna appear red. That is what they want. So you see, here is red, 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 and things so, Believe me, you are going to have a lot of things to learn um, from this um, application. So let's now see. Below here, I have the save button. That is to save to my database. So that maybe probably show in the next 10, 15 years, because this is going to save to cloud. That is Firebase. So even in the next 10, 15 years, maybe they wanted to check this particular student, they will be able to fetch it out. So let's, let me click the save button here. Once I click the save button, I'll be a display message you see congrats successfully saved so we click on ok so let's now confirm maybe our data is safe now here at the register student you see what i'm gonna happen here is this place display the names of the students that have already saved their data you see john doe appears here as you can see on the screen here this is john doe appears here this is um Olubenga, um the name of a student that I already registered initially, and this is another name of a student I've already registered initially. So we are going to get the name of the student that I registered here. So here too, if I want to add a new admin, maybe people that have access, I want to grab people that have access to this application, I can do that here. So here also is we can get the delete student name. You see, I can get uh, any particular student name here and delete. I can even delete all the names. If I click delete all button now, you will not find any student's name on the, in, on the database. But I'm not going to do that here now because I still want to show us one particular function here. So, now if you notice down here, let, let me show us there. Down here, there is an edit button. There's an edit button down here. So, what this edit button does is that it will retrieve any particular student name that, we, that is already on the database. Now, let's assume now, let me um, refresh. Let me refresh and see how this works. Let me ref let me refresh and see how this works. Let me refresh and see how this works. So the system is refreshing. So let's go back to the create student results. You know, if you notice, nothing happened about that name still. Anytime the last student's um, record and input on a database, the, the particular name student will appear here automatically. That's the way the system is being, the web application is being programmed. So let's now retrieve the student name back. We must get the name, the session, before we can get that particular name, the other time we, we said 2019, 2020, here we wrote um, first time. Don't forget GSS1. So let's go to the edits now. You see what's going to happen? We'll retrieve back those data we saved for John Doe. We're going to receive back those data we saved for John Doe. You see, we got them back. As you see, see, you see what happened here now? We got them back. So once you click the enter button, the color is going to come back again. You see, 
So we get that particular student name back. You see now, we get it back and it was exactly what we input. So anytime uh, provided the student record is still on the database, we can eventually get the student name back. So let me now show us how the delete button function works. Let me show us now. This is a student name here. Let's assume we want to delete John Doe now. Let's assume we want to delete John Doe's student name. You're going to see that we're not going to find it on our record again. It's asking the one to delete. Yes. I click on the delete button. It said OK. It's deleted. So let's check if John Doe can still be found on our database. Let's check if John Doe can still be found on our database. OK. We get it correct. Do we get it correct? John Doe. John Doe. Let's check it out. Let's copy it directly here and um, delete the student name directly here. Delete the student name directly here. Let's see if can I get it right. So okay, it's loading now. Let's see. It's loading now. It's loading. Okay. Okay, it doesn't work. I think let's let's try the lit or button. Let's try the lit or button. So let's try the lit or button. Let's see if you know since no registers today, we don't use the delete all. No registers today because I've used the delete all. So it's gonna delete all the student names from um, once you click the delete all button, you're going to delete all the student name from the database. So that's just the whole idea of the application. So we can log out and go back to uh, our home page. So this all the application is all about. So I think you really understand how it works. This is a great result where we can add and do a lot of things there. We can save. You can save the student name and do a lot of things, edit and a lot of things like that. So um, the next. Um, video I'm going to post in. I'll be starting on how uh, the foundational level on how I design this web application. So believe me, you're going to have a lot of things to learn. You're going to have a lot of things to learn. So um, watch out for my next video. Thanks for taking your time to look at how this um, web application works. So in the next video, I'm going to tell us what and what you are going to learn from this video. And I'm going to show you how I started um, this video, the foundational level, how you can um, everything are uh, some things about JavaScript and because I use JavaScript majorly to build this web application. So you're going to learn a lot of things and a lot of things. So hopefully I really want you to um, please subscribe for uh, this channel. Just click the subscribe button and I'm going to uh, this particular um, um, the, um, the source code for this web application. I'm going to deploy it on GitHub so that you're going to have it there. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you. See you on my next video. God bless you.